What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WWE Network and Show, where I, Graham G.S. and Matthews, break down all the original content you watch on the WWE Network and on Peacock. And today we're talking the June 14, 2021 edition of Raw Talk, being hosted by Kevin Patrick and R Truth. Um, to start off the show, as always, they recap the ending to the show that saw Drew McIntyre pin Bobby Lashley in the six man tag team match that pit McIntyre and the Viking Raiders against Lashley, um, Omos, and AJ Styles. Which tells me, hopefully, that Lashley is retaining the title on Sunday. I like Drew. I'm a big Drew fan. I wouldn't put the belt back on him at this point. I was thinking there was a really good chance going into that main event, based off how you know Lashley was distracted by the women and all this other stuff going on right now, that he was probably going to lose the championship. And there's still a chance he could lose. It's definitely not set in stone that he'll win. Um, this is definitely the most unpredictable match we've had probably since WrestleMania, because I thought Drew would win there as well. But, um, you know, with that being said, I think there is now a better chance of Lashley retaining the championship now that he lost on Monday. Why would they have him lose twice? Now, this is WWE. They could be swerving us by doing reverse psychology or some shit. Um, but there is a good chance now moving forward that, you know, um, hopefully at Hell in the Cell on Sunday, Lashley will be McIntyre to retain the championship. Kevin thinks that Lashley is going to win. That's his prediction. He says, regardless of who we have here on the show tonight, just keep this amongst ourselves. And of course, um, Truth throws him under the bus anyway later on in the show when they have Drew on. And, and, and Truth says that Kevin picked Lashley to win the match or to win the match on Sunday. They also recap RK Bro, Randy Orton, and Riddle beating the New Days, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods on Raw. Um, and Truth says, or rather, I think, I don't know if it was Kevin or, or Truth, but one of them said that they admire Orton for putting up with Riddle and all of his shenanigans and whatnot. But they picked up the win nonetheless. And then they also recap the Charlotte Flair Rhea Ripley brawl. Now, both of them were involved in matches on the show last night with Charlotte losing to or beating Nikki Cross. Or no, she lost to Nikki Cross by count out on the show. And then Rhea beat Asuka in one-on-one -on -one action. The build of the match has been incredibly terrible, but I thought the final brawl between the two was well done. I don't know where that was three weeks ago, two weeks ago, last week, but I guess we finally got it here, so it's something. Uh, Charlotte Flair, speaking of whom, is the first guest here on Raw Talk for the week, and she says that it's not personal between herself and Rhea Ripley. Rather, she's just trying to teach her how to be a queen slash a champion and trying to teach her how to be a proper Raw women's champion. Uh, she vows to walk out of Hell in the Cell a 14-time champion, which I guess it is that many. I haven't really thought about it in a while, but if you count up the two NXT women's championship reigns, that's two right there. She won the SmackDown Women's Championship... Uh, how many times? Once in 2017. She won it in 2018. At least once. Right? She won it in 2018. She won it in 2019 for like five minutes. And then she won it again in 2019 against Bailey before losing it like five days later. Um, I don't think she won the SmackDown Women's title after that. So that's four SmackDown Women's Championships, two NXT. She won the tag titles once. So that's seven reigns. And then she's been the Raw Women's Champion. Is it been five times? I guess. Um, so what would that be? Seven? She wants she's six times maybe? She is, she's a six-time Raw Women's Champion? Really? I've lost track. Because I know she won it. Or Divas Champion. I guess she's probably counting too. I know she's a Raw, a five-time Raw Women's Champion. She hasn't held that championship in quite a few years. I don't think. Anyway, if I remember correctly. But, um, yeah, probably not since 20, 2016 or 2017. Probably not since 2017, which is a long time. But she's held a lot of championships in between then. Um, but, yeah, I guess she wants to become a 14-time women's champion on Sunday. And that gets her that much closer to becoming a 16-time champion. Uh, thus tying her father of so. And you know that's inevitable. You know that's coming sooner rather than later. Um, and she says that Rhea Ripley is going to have to go through her in order to be a champion on Sunday. Kevin asks this really dumb question, and I, I like Kevin Patrick, but he asks this really dumb question about, oh, what if you get disqualified? You won't win the title, but you blah, 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 blah. I mean, I guess I shouldn't ask questions coming off that atrocity that was Seth Rollins versus The Fiend two years ago, but there is no possible way unless I'm mistaken, and get disqualified inside of a Hell in a Cell match. How many times have we seen interference in a Hell in a Cell match anyway? So I'm not even really sure what the fuck she's talk or he's talking about here about getting disqualified. And Charlotte just kind of mocks him and says, instead of going off about how dumb that is, she simply says, I don't need a championship to be Charlotte Flair, which is true, 
But it was a weird thing to say because she just said that she wants to win the championship and she will win the championship. So apparently to her, win or lose, it doesn't matter because she's Charlotte Flair either way, which is true. But uh, what, a, what a weird answer. And then Kevin was like, well, she's probably got to get her emotions in check because if she doesn't, that gives Rhea Ripley the advantage. Anyway, the next guest we had on was Alexa Bliss, who we've not here had here on Raw Talk in quite a while. She was probably on the last time months ago. It's definitely not been recently, so I appreciate the attempt to switch things up and get Alexa here on the show for the first time in a while. She says that Reginald, who interfered in her match with Nia Jax on Raw, he should be in timeout, a lot like Lily is. I guess she said that Lily was in timeout, and maybe I missed that, I don't know, but... Um, that was why Lily was not on Raw last night, because she was in timeout, according to Alexa Bless, and she says that, you know, there's nothing I can do to hurt Lily, I, I can't hurt Lily, I can't reprimand Lily, she's just simply in timeout, and, and then R-Truth calls her, um, Creepy Lexi, or Creepy Alexa, or something, and then calls her a whack job, which in his words were what people have been referring to her as, and she laughs, and then she says, I'm not a whack job, and then she just kind of walks off, the lights flicker, and to his credit, Kevin Patrick does a good job of acting, like, terrified here. And the guy is not a wrestler, but he's only been in WWE a few months. He sells this very well. Um, he's like, oh, Truth, what have you done? Why'd you call her a whack job? She's going to come for you now on Sunday or on Raw or whatever. So um, he's going to feel Alexa's wrath. But, um, yeah, the lights flicker after that, and then Alexa Bliss comes back to try to scare him. And then he's like, no, be gone, and like puts his foot up. I mean, I can't really explain it properly, but the way he did it here was hilarious. Um, but yeah, honestly, I thought Kevin Patrick's acting wasn't uh, wasn't too, too bad. So the last person they have on is Drew McIntyre, and Drew hopes that by pinning Lashley at the end of Raw this week, that, that uh, it'll force him to take things more seriously after kind of being laid back and focusing on all about the women and stuff like that recently in the last couple of weeks. Um, he's going to take Drew more seriously come Hell in a Cell on Sunday. Um, he also mentions... Oh, I lost my notes there for a second. He also relates uh, Bobby Lashley to Mike Tyson and how successful he got and how he really got a big head and all this other stuff. And then because he was focused on all the outside activities and whatnot, he got knocked out by Buster Douglas. And, um, you know, Kevin brings up the stipulation where if Drew loses, he can no longer challenge for that championship as long as Bobby Lashley is champion. And he says, well, I have to win because if I don't, who honestly can beat Bobby Lashley? And we already saw Drew beat, or lose to Lashley, rather, at WrestleMania, but whatever. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah, with those two and how Lashley and, and, and whatever and McIntyre beating Lashley, he's like, well, if it's not me, then who? During my time as champion, I beat Brock Lesnar, I beat AJ Styles, I beat Randy Orton, he also beat Dolph Ziggler, he beat Seth Rollins, he beat a number of people. Um, he beat a lot of people as the WWE champion. So he says, if I can beat those people, and then he beats me, who honestly can beat Bobby Lashley? And he says that you can't really prepare for Hell in a Cell. It's a match you just kind of have to experience. He learned that the hard way in being inside Hell in a Cell with Randy Orton a mere eight months ago. And he learned from that match. He learned from that loss to Randy Orton inside Hell in the Cell from falling off the side of the cage to then losing the championship. Um, he learned from it. He's ready for the Cell in the Cell match. Bobby Lashley has never been inside Hell in the Cell before. And he's going to do whatever it takes, Drew will, to get that championship back. And then when Kevin asks um, how this match is going to end on Sunday, Drew simply puts up like the one, two, three fingers and says, with a Claymore. And then to close out the show, Kevin wishes R-Truth, well, or actually before that, um, R-Truth had mentioned to Drew that Kevin was picking Lashley to win Hell in the Cell. So Drew said, well, if I win the championship on Sunday, Kevin, you're not invited to my party. So then he walks off, and then Truth and Kevin kind of joke back and forth, and Kevin says, well, I wish you well, R-Truth, because if Alexa Bliss is coming for you, it's not going to end well. So, uh... Keep an eye out for that, I guess. I doubt there's going to be any follow-up with that. I, I I doubt Alexa Bliss takes R-Truth's soul on Raw or there's any follow-up on Raw Talk. I'm sure it'll be forgotten by the weekend, but um, that's that. So that's the June 14, 2021 edition of Raw Talk. I appreciated the effort to kind of switch him some fresh faces. We've seen Drew and Charlotte on the show a bunch of times. Uh, we haven't seen Alexa Bliss on the show in a while, so getting her on here was new. It was something fresh. I appreciated that. Um, overall, a solid show. Nothing too great. Charlotte was... Just in complete bitch mode here, it was great. So I thought she was good. I thought Alexa Bliss played her role well. Um, R-Truth played off of her well, which was funny. And then Drew was uh, all fired up. He's all giddy and he's ready. And, you know, Drew, for as much hate as the guy gets for whatever reason, he's still playing his role very, very well in trying 
not to let all the backlash get to him, which is good. But um, yeah, good stuff here. Check out Raw Talk for June 14th, 2021. And check out all my other Raw Talk reviews down below in the description box down below. Be sure to like this video, drop a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. And also be sure to check out my interview with the all-new WWE Million Dollar Champion, L.A. Knight. Yeah! Went up this morning here on the channel. Check that out. The article should be out in article form. Uh, the interview should be out in article form as well soon enough, and that will be in the description box of that very video. So check that out when you get a chance. And another interview coming up, I think, on Thursday. So there's a lot of interviews coming up this week. I want you to check those. I, I want you guys to check those out. Um, the LA Night one yesterday, and then another one coming up, I think, on Thursday. So there's no better time to subscribe. There's no better time to subscribe here to the channel than right now. Don't miss it. Have a great one, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'm Graham Jason Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.